Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before, I am Freya. This is Budgie Budgets and today is Sunday. Um, so we are doing our weekly cash unstuffing. Ugh, spoiler alert, it's a lot. And our weekly check-in, our roundup challenge and our budget with me for the following week. Um, so please excuse me today, you guys. I am a little bit all over the shop. So we... <sighs> We had a storm during the week on, when was it? Wednesday afternoon. I went to do the school run and the skies just opened up and we had a massive thunderstorm and it was windy and there was lots of lightning. Um, and somewhere in that, our internet got cooked. Um, so we have not had proper internet at home since Wednesday last week. They are sending someone out to fix it, but their earliest appointment, despite my carrying on like a chook without a head because I um, work from home and so does hubby, um, that we need internet. The earliest they can get someone here is Tuesday morning. Um, so pray for us. Like hopefully we will have internet back on Tuesday morning because it is a struggle. The struggle is real. Um, so any uploads, any video uploads are going off my, like via my phone, via my hotspot, my phone data. That's also how I'm working at the moment. So it's really, really difficult because my... <laughs> My printer will only work if it's connected to the home Wi-Fi, even though there's not internet, the Wi-Fi network is still there. Um, so I have to connect my computer to Wi-Fi to download the files that I need to print or to talk to anybody on Etsy who messages or anything like that. And then I have to disconnect from that for my printer to work, but my Cricut won't work unless it has internet access. So then I have to disconnect to connect for my Cricut to work which also means I'm not able to run my Cricut and my printer at the same time, which is really um, negatively impacting <laughs> my workflow. Um, and additionally, I can't, like my phone internet, the hotspot on my phone isn't really enough to sustain um, the design software that I use very well. So making new trackers and things like that is um, proving a little bit difficult at the moment. But look, hopefully it will be rectified on Tuesday. <laughs> I really, really hope so, because otherwise I am going to be in quite the pickle. Um, so anyway, now that I have that off my chest, let's get to some cash unstuffing. Uh, it's ugly this week, you guys. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend it is ugly. Um, now, we need to unstuff water, but I think I need $10 in change. So we're going to come back to that in a minute. So... First things first, we went, as I already told you, and bought a lawnmower and a, what's the other one? Whippersnipper. <laughs> oh dear. I warned you guys, it's one of those days. Uh, so we got a lawnmower and a whippersnipper, so we need to get the money out to cover that. So we're taking out 110, 120 out of gardening, but it doesn't stop there because that was nowhere near enough to cover it. So we are also taking $15 out of home. $15 out of appliances, $45 out of our buffer, um, so that gives us a total of, what does that give us a total of, oh my goodness, what am I doing, what are we doing here, okay, so that's 120, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 195, so we need, we need another hundred dollars. We are going to find that momentarily in our mojo. So the other things that we're unstuffing from this binder are water. We've got $10 to put back in that now. So we need 230 from in here to cover our bill for this quarter. So putting $10 back, so we still got $30 in water. So that was good. We had more than enough to cover it. We like that. And then phones is also getting the unstuffing of a lifetime because I am a sausage. I, I don't know. I know. I do know why. I've worked it out. So I was quite sure in my little head that mine and hubby's phone recharges were due in December. And I was like, I've got plenty of time to save up enough for that. It's no worries. It's not ours. It's the kids that will be due in December because I did them a six month recharge in July. Ours were in fact both due this week. So <laughs> did I have enough money to cover them? No, no, I did not. Um, so because, because Telstra are putting their prices up in October, I was like, well, clearly I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm actually 
spewing that I didn't do 12 months for each of the kids. Had I known they were going to put their prices up, I would have. But anyway, it's too late now. Um, but I want to do 12 months for both myself and hubby so that we save that extra money for this next 12 months. So we need um, 600 <laughs> six hundred and twenty dollars so we've got two hundred four hundred four fifty five hundred and ten twenty five now we're gonna go on a little treasure hunt and find some more money let's just sort out all of these so we've got all these placeholders holy guacamole i did warn you it was gonna be a big one you guys and we're not even done yet oh my goodness what am i doing Making a mess, just making a mess. Yeah, thank God I finished up with all of the, well, almost all of the crystal binders before our internet conked out, because that would have been a nightmare. Um, I think that's everything for in here. It is. So then next we are going to our home, our life binder, aren't we? Yes, sorry, I'm just looking at my cheat sheet over on the side here. Uh, now that $5, sorry, $10 has to come out of hair because my son got his hair cut. It cost us $35, so I'm taking that out and I'm going to cover the rest of it in today's budget. Oh my God, you guys, it was not a good haircut. It was, an, it was like a nightmare scenario because my son, I've already mentioned, hates getting his hair cut. And he wanted to try a different barber. So he went somewhere else and I gave him very specific instructions and he just cut loose and just did whatever he wanted and I don't even know what you would call it but my son was in tears like in like he, like he was so he's been wearing a beanie to school he's that upset about it so I'm just like luckily his hair grows quickly um but I couldn't even lie to him I couldn't even lie to him and be like it looks great mate mm -mm. Oh, anyway Okay, so from Mojo, that was fully funded at $500. I'm taking that out. We're putting $300 back in. So we've taken $100 out of here to cover the lawnmower purchase, the rest of it, that I couldn't cover through that, and $100 from here to cover my phone bill. So this is how I wanted to do it. I didn't want to pull it out of any other, like, emergency fund. Oh, sorry, guys, got a really tickly nose um, or anything like that. I just felt like this was the best place to take it out from. So I will let this build up and cover 100 of it. And we'll do a savings challenge to beef up the other 100 to bring it back up to five is the plan. Um, so, I mean, it's a little bit frustrating, but also the money's there. Um, we didn't have to pull it from anywhere else or anything. So, yay! Yay, cash shopping. All right, so school, we are taking out 20 because I bought the kids some stationary stuff that they needed. And swimming is also having $20 taken out because I had to buy some earplugs and a swim cap uh, for my youngest after she had that double ear infection. I'm just a bit nervy, nervy about her going back to swimming and so is she. So we're doing earplugs, swimming cap, just to try and make sure that we keep any unwanted water out of her little tiny ears. So that came out of there. Oh my goodness, sorry guys, I'm gonna sneeze. It's all right, we'll, we'll deal. Okay, so in placeholders we're taking out 200, 400, 600, 750 dollars. Oh, ouch. Whee, oh, and in cash we are taking out 20 40 60 81 20 40 so one oops see daisies 140 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 and 40 oh so and an even 1000 ouch that sucks but anyway it is what it is you know um there's not terribly much that we can do about it um the good thing is that the money was there for us to spend ready to go and that's all we can really ask for isn't it it's all necessary spending so um nothing terribly irresponsible although that will come <laughs> okay 
So our buffer this week got $3.92. So I will speed this up and tick these off. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I should have let that dry a little bit. Oh well, it'll be fine. She'll be right. Um, thank you so much to all of you as well who picked up that I should definitely not have been filming my um, Friday Savings Challenge video when I did because obviously my brain was not all with it. I rolled on this dice a zero, which of course is the 10. There is no 10, duh. Um, so, <laughs> so I messed that up. And then in my Scally Savings book, I started the board game thing at the wrong end. I started at the end. Anyway. I just, I can't even explain it, you guys. Clearly my brain had gone on a little vacation. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do our weekly check-in. Um, so this is what we, we finished up last week with. So groceries, we were negative 242. We put in 810. You guys, we have spent a fortune. $456.15. So we have $111.85 left for the rest of this week. Good luck to us. Good luck to us. Um, I, did a, I did do our big shop for the month. So I used our 10% off discount for everyday rewards that I have. If you guys don't already have that and you are a woolly shopper, I highly, highly recommend. There's a link below. I think we both get like a thousand points or something if you sign up using that link. Um, it's, well, it's well worth it. I, I save much more than the membership cost me every time. Um, but yeah, that's a bit ugly. I did our big shop and got like a refill of like big bags of nuts because I make a mix nut mix for my kids to snack on um, and everything. But I mean, we're still going to have to do a full shop this week, more or less. So yeah, lovely. Uh, we gave $100 to takeaway, which covered that 30 and we spent that whole 70. So we've got nothing left in there. Petrol, we gave 22 just to cover that. We didn't spend anything else. So we've got $0 in there and chemist, we added 10 and we haven't spent anything. So we still have 10 in there, which is nice. So that's good. Um, and then our budget this week, just ignore the, just ignore this bit um, because I, <laughs> I couldn't get the file to re download because our internet is being so sketchy. So this is actually pay three. Um, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get it and I didn't want to mess around with it any longer. It was driving me crazy. Um, I don't, I feel like it's okay not to have you two zoomed in cause this is nice and big so I can write really nice and big. So our income this week, I don't know what is happening with Centrelink you guys, but they are changing our like amount we get from them every fortnight at the moment. It is doing my head in. Um, if it happens one more time, I'm going to have to ring them and be like, what are you guys doing? Um, but anyway, so we've got 1,193 this fortnight. So of that, we are putting $215 towards rent. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh, exciting news. So after I went back to our landlord and I said, pretty, pretty, please, We've been really, really good tenants. We really look after the house. Uh, and I also asked for them to give us some consideration on the basis of the neighbors that we have, because we do have some difficult neighbors uh, that won't be going anywhere anytime soon uh, or ever. Um, so I did ask for their consideration. I did acknowledge, I understand that things are, um, prices are increasing, the market is increasing around us, expenses are increasing for investment property owners. I get all of that. So we are happy to pay some rental increase, but could it please not be that amount of rental increase? I put forward a suggestion. They've come back with something else. So our rent is going to go up $35 a week instead of $50 a week. Um, I am absolutely stoked with that. If I'm being honest, I really, really thought, because land tax has gone up massively in Victoria for people who have more than one property. Um, so I really, really thought that they were going to come back and say, absolutely not tough cookies um but i'm so so pleased with that so we asked we will still have a rental increase um in november 
but it'll be $15 a week less than I thought it was going to be. So, I mean, obviously over the year, that's circa, what, $800 roughly for us, which is a big deal for us. Um, so, yeah, so happy. It, it, it pays to ask, you guys. Like, there's no harm in... Um, in asking, especially if you know you have a good track record as a tenant, especially if you've been in the property for a long time, it is definitely worth asking. Um, I mean, it's worth asking anyone like your electricity company, your gas company, particularly insurance companies, whether or not they can give you a better deal. It's always worth asking. The worst thing they can say is no. Um, so just always keep that in mind. Uh, so 535 going to our fixed bills, which leaves us with 658. Is that right? Yes, I think so. All right. So takeaway is getting 60 because we will want to go out for dinner for my son's birthday this week. Well, actually it's tomorrow, but, um, yeah, actually it's today when you watch this and film this on Saturday. So <laughs> Uh, petrol is getting 78 hopefully we can get by on that for this fortnight I'm pretty sure we'll be able to chemist is getting its regular 10 I do think I probably need to bump that up a little bit I'm not convinced that the 10 is enough um, but yeah we'll see how we go spending is 20 which is $10 each for me and hobby so for phones I'm putting $15 straight onto it from here so i will still cash stuff i think i'm going to cash stuff 10 into that category but i'm putting 15 dollars to cover because that's what i was short even by pulling everything so i had 205 left in the envelope after i took hubby's out and then 100 from um mojo and i needed 320 so that 15 just brings me up to that amount and that'll cover us for the 12 months for my mobile which is awesome um hair cuts for my son we're putting in 25 to cover the rest of that and then um i'm just gonna write home <laughs> um i owe money because i went shopping at target and got the cutest new bedspread you guys they had gingham they had a gingham bedspread at the front of the store like how could i not <laughs> this was a terrible terrible impulse purchase mind you i haven't bought anything new for our house or our bedroom or anything in a really really long time um so i decided that i would do it um which was naughty but yeah it's done now so <laughs> it's what it is so this all together is 268 and then we have 390 dollars left so we are cash stuffing 310 we are putting $30 into mini Mondays and our savings challenges are getting 50 uh, which gives us 390 all together which is our zero based budget for this week yay now hopefully next week will be a bigger our big paycheck week I hope we should have hubby's salary and our child support payment for the month which will be really really helpful um just to cover the um there's a that wasn't the full amount of that naughty spending I'm going to cover the rest of that with a future paycheck so that's sitting on the credit card at the moment but it won't be by the end of the month you guys it won't be it won't be it won't be um <laughs> and I will also cover we are taking my son out for his birthday so I will cover that spending in that future paycheck as well because I don't currently have a budget for but obviously um I could not do anything about that today <laughs> so that is our budget for this week and that is all I have for you today I think I feel like I'm forgetting something um but yeah, I was also going to announce that envelopes and stuff will be going back up on Etsy this week. I'm just going to hold off on an exact date on that just because I want to wait and see what happens with our internet. Because as I said, that's making my life really, really difficult. I also have to decide this week whether or not I'm going back to uni. That decision is also making my life really, really difficult. Um, but yeah, I'll see how I go. Hopefully I'll have them up at the end of next week. Um, I am going to put them up in limited runs just because obviously I do want to do the advent calendar as well. Um, I'm still working on, what else am I still working on? <laughs> the budget planner. And um, I have quite a lot of customer requests coming in. Um, so I just, 
I don't want to spread myself too thin. So I do, and I do still have a couple of large outstanding orders uh, for placeholders and things like that. So, um, but yeah, hopefully they'll be back up at the end of next week. It will be, a, yeah, a limited run. Like I think I'll probably cap it at like 40 to 50 that I will do at a time. And then once I've cleared that amount, I'll re-release them again. So they'll be sold out until I redo them again. Just because that way it allows me to do other things too. Like that will allow me to do Christmas binders again. It will allow me to put up crystal binders occasionally. Um, and obviously continue working on other new trackers and the advent calendar and things like that. So i um, just trying to make sure that I don't overload myself too much so that I don't burn out. Okay, I will stop waffling now and let you guys go. I hope you have had a beautiful weekend um, and I hope you have a lovely week. The weather is so hit and miss here at the moment. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are or if you're on the other side of the world, I hope you are really settling into autumn weather and snuggling up and getting cozy and pumpkin spice lattes and all the yummy things. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow for mini Mondays. Woo -woo. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.